something on my spirit today and um, I feel God is speaking. He's saying uh, we have all people out here and they everybody's speaking for God or saying what they understand through the words of God. But the mouth of God says nobody does what is right. Christ tells you it's not your fault for not doing what's right in the eyes of God because we are all stuck in this world that we live in and we do what's right according to our own conscience based off of what we learned growing up here in this world you know it's many people that think being prosperous is having nice things God that had nice things with Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ told him to give those things up and he'll be perfect you know because he followed the things of God he wasn't a preacher of God he wasn't a preacher at all but he said he followed the things of God and he, he did it since he was young and little but he said he couldn't give up his treasures and at the same time it's, that's what kept him being perfect you understand what I'm saying so to say that you guys or nobody or none of us are not perfect in the eyes of God because we still have things of this world that still holds us to this world. We give revelations on things, but it's still wonderful for people to preach the word. It's still wonderful for people to move into things of God. But the best thing that God wants us to do is to work on ourselves. Jesus Christ wants us to work on ourselves. Each one of us, he says, take the plank out of our own God, own eye before we take the speck out of another's eye. So the biggest things that we can work on is work on ourselves. And if you listen, it's like just listening to God. You know, we say listen to God in our own minds is we listen to God. But we feel like God is telling us to go and tell other people how to be better. But no, listening is not listening to somebody talk to you and then you go and tell somebody else. Listening is you listening to what God says and you are putting it into your own life. And then by you putting it into your own life and doing these things, other people around you will see what you are doing. And then they'll come up to you and ask you. Why do you choose to do these things you're doing? Or why do you move in this way? And then you give glory to God. But then at the same time, even if you don't give glory to God and don't speak about God, people will see your works and follow them unconsciously. The same thing like with little children. Say like if you're growing up and you're drinking and smoking inside your household, but you tell your children not to drink and smoke. But through your children seeing what you do, they do. You know? Seeing you drink and smoke, they do it. Because your words is different. So at the same time, it's not our words we preach to others, but the things that we do in this world. And show other people around us what we do. You know, messages are wonderful, man. We preach them. They're wonderful, but it's not nothing about my message that makes me special because it's not my message I'm giving but it's God's message from above which is given to the people that listen on to this word that I'm giving and that is given for to everybody for free thank you all for listening those that listen thank you all God says rebuke the wise and he will become wiser so at the same time, rebuke yourselves in the things that you do. And if somebody rebukes you, accept it. And don't accept it and bring yourself down, but accept it and lift yourself up to say, I will do better tomorrow. Repent. That's repentance. Jesus Christ wants us to repent. So repent and work on being better. To work on at getting to the place of being 
perfect in the eyes of God. Alright, thank you.